Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, as you can tell by the title, I am doing an autumn house clean. So the first thing that I like to do in order to get started is take my to-do list just to make sure I have everything covered off. And it also just helps to have that little tick box to just feel even more so like you've accomplished everything by the end of the day. So I'm gonna start with making myself a drink. Usually I would make myself a nice cozy coffee, but for today I fancy something a little more refreshing and I made myself an apple and cinnamon infused water. Basically all I did was take a red garlic apple, cut it up, pop it in a water bottle, and also took a couple of cinnamon sticks and kind of just let the water infuse and it tastes very seasonal which I thought was perfectly appropriate for this video and I basically just kept topping up the water throughout the day. Moving on to lighting my seasonal candles, I'm taking this current and oakwood one from Poundland and this pumpkin and amber one from HomeSense. I don't usually get these, these uh, matchsticks out on a regular basis. They are my nice ones from the White Company. But I just like to light this candle and then take this one through to our front room. So moving on to all the cleaning products, I do like to go seasonal, especially for these videos. I go all out, I'm not gonna lie. Starting with these beige sort of microfiber cloth slippers, which are a new find from HomeSense got a new shower squeegee and also some Zaflora which as you can tell very seasonally appropriate with warm cinnamon cranberry and orange and then this brush I like to use sometimes to use on our sofa if it's particularly dirty I have a couple of new tea towels some toilet products and floor wipes I prefer using floor wipes as opposed to the normal ones just because they have a better surface area and they work much better then Sticking with the seasonal, I've got this orange fairy liquid. I also have a SIF perfect finish stainless steel cleaner. And then for room sprays, I have this Oud Desire by Glade and the Febreze vanilla latte, which smells amazing. And then for my floor cleaner, I have a citrusy and clove one, which again, smells amazing. I also have some new detergent from Comfort. This is the Heavenly Nectar and also I love to use the Lenore Unstoppables. They smell amazing. I'm going to be using this Mr. Muscle Gel in the shower and this Harpic Toilet Bleach. I'll also be using some soda crystals for the plugs in our kitchen. And my new purchase, the Pink Stuff, which is by Star Drops. And I got that one from Poundland, but you can pick them up from B&M at 99p and Home Bargains as well, actually. So hair is going to be on the top of my head. I'm in my comfy clothes. And I just remembered here that I forgot to get my slippers. So make sure to put those on. They're really handy because the microfiber cloth on the bottom is detachable and you just pop them in the wash with all your other microfiber cloths at the end of your cleaning day. So I'm gonna start by popping all our washing away in our ironing basket before putting on a new load, which will be finished and ready to hang out to dry once I have got to the end of my cleaning routine. I'm gonna be using the new Comfort detergent along with my Unstoppables, which again are in lavish. These are my absolute favorite and I'm yet to find one that smells better. Once that's going, I then get out some new tea towels. This one is from Poundland and this one is from HomeSense. And I simply put these out to just kind of make them a bit more seasonal and also they're a fresh new pair, which is always a bonus. Moving on to cleaning the sink area, I start with boiling the kettle and just generally tidying up. Track of time. 
I'm then going to take some of my new orange scented fairy washing up liquid, pop it in a washing up bowl and take a sponge to just clean the entire sink and I keep the water running just throughout doing this. Once that's clean, I then fill my Zaflora bottle. This one in particular, I decided to go with the warm cinnamon. I pop some soda crystals in the sink plugs and spritz some diluted Zaflora all over the sink so it can start working its magic. I then put a neat cap full down both plug holes and just let that sit for a moment before rinsing it all away with some hot water and that steam that you can see oh my god it smells incredible i then move on to cleaning the tap with this stainless steel cleaner to make it all shiny and then i pop again another couple of capfuls into my washing up bowl and pour some boiling water, which makes it smell amazing. Moving on to the hob now, I am using my new The Pink Stuff spray to just wipe all the main dirt away using a sponge and a microfiber cloth. I then spritz the Zaflora onto the microfiber cloth and just wipe that down. Moving on, now using some of the floor wipes to just wipe all of the surface areas and all of the cabinets. Once that's done, I then go over a second time with my Zaflora and a microfiber cloth. Moving on to the floor, I firstly hoover. This is a new hoover by Beldry, I think it's called. I'll leave it linked below if I can find a link to it. And then I use the floor wipes to remove all the pesky dirts and stains that have accumulated before going on to mopping the floor with this, which I got from B&M with a detachable microfiber cloth again, which just goes in the wash at the end of the day. And there we have it, the kitchen is sparkling and smelling incredible and now we're ready to move on to the next area. And this is the lounge, so firstly I'm starting with just a general tidy which to be honest with you there wasn't really any mess. So I'm just going to remove all the cushions and the throws from the sofa and hoover the rug and the sofa. Then I'm going to use my Glade Shake and Vac, I think it's called. It's in lemon, this one. It smells lovely and fresh. And again, hoover that up. And then just rearrange the sofa as it was, making sure all the throws are sort of shake, shaken out, <laughs> shook out. And um, I'll hoover up any sort of bits that might drop off from that afterwards. I then go on with the 1001 carpet fresh to leave the carpet smelling amazing. You don't have to hoover this up, you just leave it as it is. Oh my God, this makes such a difference. Even if I just do this every day without anything else, it really makes a difference to the room. I then go ahead and hoover the entire lounge and using this long duster, it's like an extendable one that can reach the top corners of the room if there are any cobwebs or dust on top of the lights. And then I use a microfiber cloth and Zaflora to just disinfect everywhere. Then using my Febreze and Vanilla Latte, I love this smell for in the lounge and our lounge is like adjacent to the kitchen so yeah it smells amazing. 
And there we have the finished lounge. I do come back in and just mop the floors in a second, but I'm just gonna go through to the other front room before doing that. So let's go. Here we are in the front room and the first step again is just to tidy and make sure everything is away. And then I go ahead and hoover the entire room. Now I dust all the surfaces and again use the um, some kind of a disinfectant spray to wipe down the surfaces. Firstly, I am going to take this window lean to just wipe the mirror down and then once I have done that I'm actually using the new method rhubarb which I didn't feature at the beginning of the video but it smells amazing. It's not very seasonal I guess for this video but whatever. The floor spray definitely is. The citrus and clove just smells so nice and warming and then as you can tell I went back into the front room and the lounge and did the entire floor before moving upstairs. So I'm gonna start with the bedroom upstairs. These are the products that I'm gonna be using in our bedroom. So again, the first step is to just tidy everything and make sure everything has a home and is put away. And then I'm gonna use the Shake and Vac, the Glade one in Crisp Lemon. It's my favorite scent. I've found three that they do. They do a vanilla one and a Lily of the Valley, but the lemon one is by far my favorite. So I'm gonna hoover all that up and then dust all the surfaces and then move on to my Zaflora spray and a new microfiber cloth to disinfect all the surfaces. Make sure you get that radiator and the light switches because when they are on, it just warms up the Zaflora, smells amazing. Then I use a air spray and pillow spray. This one from TK Maxx smells amazing. Before finishing with the 1001 carpet spray and an Olivia Blake candle. This one is new, so it smells quite fresh and citrusy. I think that's the kumquat in it, but it is recommended. I really, really like it. And I just left that burning in my bedroom before moving on to the bathroom. Now moving on to the bathroom, I empty all the bins and remove all the bath towels and everything to put in the wash. Look away if you're squeamish now. This is, I'm ashamed to say, this is our plug hole. I'm pouring this Mr. Muscle down it. I use half a bottle each time and you'll see the results afterwards. It's incredible. I then use this bleach to just clean the toilet. And then it's time to get out the rubber gloves. I hate cleaning the bathroom. It's my worst room to clean. So I just use the floor wipes that we used earlier to remove the main bulk of dirt on the toilet before going in by putting in a new toilet freshener center thing. Um, and then I take off the bath tray from our bath, give it a quick dust, put it to one side for now before moving on to cleaning the bath, starting with the floor wipes. Oh. You can see here I had a bit of a mare and yeah. So back to it, we are cleaning the entire bath with a floor wipe before moving on to using um, a spray to mainly just remove the main bulk of the dirt and dust. It's not really that dirty our bath but it does get dusty quite easily. So I'm just using a sponge with like a scourer on one side and running hot water and then leaving a splash of Zaflora with the hot water to just leave that to soak in the bottom of the bath and it makes the bathroom smell amazing. I do the same with the sink as well in a second, which you can see after using the pink stuff by just popping a bit of Zaflora in, it smells amazing. I also use the windoline on mirrors in the bathroom and the glass panel in the shower. Here we go, here's a before and after of the plug hole. It makes such a difference and this is before even needing to like scrub it. So now I go in with this, the pink stuff spray all over the tiles, let that work in and just leave that for a bit before moving on to the main window panel of the shower which I use the window lean with and this little squeegee I think it was called. 
Again, it has a detachable thing which you can pop in the wash afterwards. And just using the shower head, I just rinse everything down, pop the bath tray back on the bath and use this new candle, which is my favorite at the minute. It smells so good. It's quite intense and masculine. It smells like an aftershave. Highly recommended. And there we have the finished bathroom and the finished house. I hope you enjoyed watching this autumnal speed clean. Let me know if you want any more. Make sure to save it so you can keep it for a little motivation each time you need to come back and do an autumnal clean. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.